Hallelujah. Christ is alive. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Shall we stand together? Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the fountain of living water, the rock who gave us birth, our light and our salvation. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks to the gift of baptism. We give thanks, O God, O living one, for you have created all and you water the earth abundantly. Oceans and aquifers praise you, rivers and streams bless you, all life is sustained by you, our source. We praise you for Christ, the firstborn from the dead, who frees us from sin and raises us up to new life. Bright as crystal, flowing through the city of God, here death is washed away forever. Here we are grafted into the tree of life with leaves for the healing of the world. Pour out your Holy Spirit on this assembly, into this community, throughout all creation. Cleanse us from our fears, drown our divisions, grant that all may drink of your mercy and peace through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, one God, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Together we pray. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you joys beyond understanding. Pour into our hearts such love for you that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises, which exceed all we can desire through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the Holy Scripture readings. Our first reading is from the 10th chapter of Acts. The Gentiles received the Holy Spirit. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. And Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm is 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord had made known this victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness. 
to the house of Israel, all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, where he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with equity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our third reading is from 1 John chapter 5. Faith conquers all. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this that we obey his commandments. His commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and the blood, Jesus the Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel is from the 15th chapter of John. Glory to you, O Lord. A continuation of Jesus, the true vine. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you, that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Are there any kids? Come forward. We have a special... Celebration. Jesus loves me. 
hours to go. But I want you to plant them and care for them and then grow them. I want them to grow big and strong. Okay? That's what I want you to do. Now, if you do that as a family or if you do that with your parents, that's great. That's wonderful. Okay? Do it together. Did you know that that's why God has us here? To grow things that are beautiful? We pray with you. Dear Jesus, thank you, thank you. for helping us to grow, to grow and grow, grow beautiful things. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. Jesus loves you. Thank you for helping. So, shall we review the Holy Scripture? Let's start with the first reading from the 10th chapter of Acts. What's going on there? Peter is giving the first sermon, right? He's proclaiming that Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of all God's promises. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Jesus Christ died and he rose. And as he's preaching, there's a congregation that's mixed. Some who are accepted members of the church and others that are newcomers and we're not sure we know them but the holy spirit decides does it not the holy spirit anoints and gives gifts to the congregation as the word is being proclaimed the holy spirit is present and gives these gifts and the congregation is befuddled. The congregation is confused because the congregation wants to decide who's a member and who's not. And yet it's the Holy Spirit who decides who's in and who's blessed. That's the first reading. Our psalm, Psalm 98, singing a new song. Today, especially, Mother Nature singing a song in praise of God. All creation joins into this song. We participate and are led to praise God. Isn't that wonderful? That's a blessed Mother's Day. To be able to praise God and God's creation, realizing that God is so much more than a gender. God is the source of nurture and creation. God maintains nurture and creation. How wonderful. Our third reading from 1 John chapter 5 is a celebration of faith's victory. Faith in Jesus Christ through blood and water, claims creation, reclaims us so that we can be regenerated, reborn, alive, to grow in this love that he gives to us. In our gospel text, remembering that we are grafted, we are attached to the branch Jesus Christ, we're attached to God's love by Jesus and what he has sacrificed to give us. So we thank you, Lord, for demonstrating, revealing, making clear to us what our purpose is to grow this love in your abiding presence. You're in touch with us that we could be in touch with one another connected to grow and bear fruit like joy, to make our joy complete. And you will remain with us forever. And we will remain in you, living forever. That abiding presence of love in Jesus Christ. Tremendous. 
Now enough of Mother's Day. I want you to imagine a world, this world, where there are no more children being born ever again. No more animals born ever again. Those we have, that's all we get. You plant a seed in the ground, you cultivate it and try to get it to grow, it will not grow. Imagine the gift of nurturing and creation taken away from us so that we can no longer produce and create. Can you envision a world like that? What it would be like? And yet, it seems we do envision that kind of world. Every time we turn our back on the creative, nurturing presence of God. He gave us this love through his death and resurrection for a purpose, to grow fruit, to grow, to creatively come alive and share this life in a way that builds up and helps. According to our gospel text, verse 13, what greater way to express this love than to lay down your life for your friend. Mothers lay down their lives for their children. Put your life at risk for the sake of someone else growing and living. That, your abiding love, God's abiding love, our presence, together in God's creation, will produce fruit, joyful, complete. A celebration, a praising, and all of creation, Mother Nature joins in. And this is happening every moment of every day and night. God's creation is sustained is in motion, is happening. Isn't that amazing? How we corrupt and destroy God's creation is well known by our lack of faith. But Jesus Christ in the blood and the water has come to us to choose us and to gift to us again renewed a love that sets and continues to set in motion nurturing creative fruit that's why we're here to share with one another opportunity you think you chose to be here Jesus Christ has chosen you to be here. And without Christ, there is no more nurturing or growth. That's how desperate and in need we are as members of a branch attached to the way, the truth, the life, Jesus Christ. That's how necessary Christ is for us. God's creativity in our world. He chooses us to be an extension of this love. May we continue to praise him and share this good news. Amen? Hallelujah. Shall we stand together professing our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed? We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, 
eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated for the offering. Together we pray, God of love, you call us beloved children and welcome us to your table. Receive our lives and the gifts we offer. Abide with us and send us in service to a suffering world. For the sake of your beloved child, Jesus Christ, amen. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me, the body of Christ given for you. Again, after supper, our Lord Jesus, he took the cup, he gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me, the blood of Christ shed for you. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, teaching us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen us and keep us in his grace now and forever. Amen. Together we pray, wellspring of joy, through this meal you have put gladness in our hearts. Satisfy the hunger still around us. Send us as joyful witnesses that your love may bring joy to the hearts of all people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May our glorious God grant us a spirit of wisdom to know and to love the risen Lord Jesus. The God of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Go in peace sharing this good news. Hallelujah. <laughs>